Ta-da. Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. You wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Wow, nice shit for Tex. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Oh, oh my crap, god, cut his neck! Give it away! <sighs> <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look. Our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help. Now. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That's for you. Oh, real gentleman. was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? 
What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Mm, just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh. getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro, good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay. So. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <gasps> what the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Huh. 
All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean... What do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup.
Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh, um, sure. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Great. You can pay. You know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh! Ah! I... Hey! Oh, snap! Hello, <laughs> come on. Hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. Okay. No, you got me. <laughs> you can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Damn, Jess. Look what you did. I know, I know. Oh, no. Poor birdie. Poor little Tweety birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, my God. Michael? Oh, <laughs> gotcha. It's done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, sounds like... Oh! Oh my god! That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us! Yeah, I mean, wow! If you hadn't pulled us out of the way, toast. Let's get out of here. Yeah. again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? 
In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and thunderstorms. <laughs> That's some combination. Sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but. I promise, we'll talk again very soon. Sister, go It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect.
Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? What if she she might not like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. <sighs> so, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got. Four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Hmm. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one.
attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we do with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. What was that? 